I'm Akshay Desai. I'm the director of the Cardiomyopathy and Heart Failure Program in the Cardiovascular Division at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. So uh, in this pre-specified secondary analysis of the recently presented Fine Arts HF trial, we explored the efficacy and safety of the non-steroidal mineralocorticoid receptor antagonist finerenone uh, in patients with heart failure and mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction who had had a recent worsening heart failure event. So the study design was a secondary analysis of the primary fine arts HF trial, which uh, in which treatment with finerenone was associated with a statistically important reduction in the composite of cardiovascular death and total heart failure events in patients with heart failure and mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction, highlighting that treatment with non steroidal MRAs may be an important add-on therapy to consider in patients with heart failure and mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction. In this analysis, we uh, uh, examined this, uh, the patient's, uh, the efficacy and safety of finerenone in relation to proximity to a worsening heart failure event. We know that worsening heart failure, whether it occurs in hospital or out of hospital, is prognostically important and associated with heightened risk for subsequent mortality and readmission. And as such, patients who are experience a recent hospitalization or worsening heart failure event are particularly prime targets for intensification of medical therapy. Guidelines recommend in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, uh, specifically that we consider initiation and titration of guideline-directed therapies for those patients to reduce their subsequent risk, but we don't have as much similar guidance for the hef, uh, heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved DF patients. So in this study, we examined whether the finerenone efficacy and safety balance are different in those who are in close proximity to a worsening heart failure event versus those who are more remote from an event. And we segregated the population into those hospitalized or within seven days of worsening heart failure, either inpatient or ambulatory, those between seven days and three months, and those more than three months uh, uh, from a worsening heart failure event or those never hospitalized. And the concept was to see whether the treatment uh, relative risk of, redu of reduction in events and the safety of finerenone varied according to the proximity uh, to a recent worsening event. Well, the key findings of this analysis are really quite interesting. First, I think we validated what has uh, been previously demonstrated in the literature, which was that regardless of the context in which it happens, worsening heart failure is a clinically important sentinel event. Patients with worsening heart failure in our trial are worse uh, at, sub at significantly higher risk of subsequent readmission and cardiovascular or total mortality, um, as has been reported uh, previously. What was news in this analysis was that patients treated with finerenone compared to those treated with placebo appeared to experience a, a greater reduction in the relative risk of the primary composite endpoint in fine arts HF if they were enrolled during or within seven days of a hospitalization compared to those uh, who were more than three months out uh, uh, from a worsening heart failure event or had never had a worsening heart failure event. Now, there was no statistically important interaction suggesting that finerenone was effective regardless of proximity to a worsening heart failure event, but there was this curious signal of numerically greater efficacy in the patients with a recent worsening heart failure event. And that translated into greater absolute risk reductions in those who had been recently who had recently experienced a worsening heart failure event composed paired to those who had not recently experienced a worsening heart failure event. Uh, we think this may be important because while it does not undermine the overall message of fine arts, which is that finerenone is effective in treatment of heart failure with mildly reduced EF or preserved EF, regardless of proximity to a worsening heart failure event, that those patients who've been recently hospitalized are indeed good candidates uh, for treatment with finerenone, uh, and that the safety risk in terms of hyperkalemia or other uh, uh, key events like worsening renal function or hypotension is not amplified, and the treatment benefits may actually be even greater in absolute terms uh, in those uh, recently hospitalized. And I think this points the way, perhaps, uh, to uh, you really targeting this uh, patients with worsening heart failure uh, as an important uh, category of, pa of, of patients who might benefit from treatment with finerenone in this uh, syndrome of heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved EF.
Well, I think it's uh, uh, early days in clinical practice. We don't yet have an uh, FDA approved indication for finerenone, but I think these data do underscore the treatment with um, the finerenone and perhaps other non uh, mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists should be considered in patients with uh, heart failure and mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction who have a recent worsening heart failure event. And that there's no reason to be uh, concerned about a heightened risk of safety. Uh, and there may even be enhanced efficacy in this population compared to those more remote from a worsening heart failure event. So I think this points the way for clinicians to utilize worsening heart failure as a signal uh, to initiate a potentially important disease modifying therapy in patients with heart failure and mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction. Well, I think these data come from a, uh, uh, a pre-specified secondary analysis of the Fine Arts HF trial. And like all subgroup analyses, the trial was not initially powered to look at treatment effects in subgroups. So we need to validate these preliminary findings uh, in subsequent trials of finerenone in patients with heart failure uh, of this type. And uh, there are ongoing studies as part of the uh, Moonraker uh, program, including trials like Redefine HF and Confirmation HF that will explore the, uh, uh, specifically the treatment effects uh, and the safety of finerenone in a, in a hospitalized uh, heart failure population. And I think those data will be really important uh, to confirm uh, and amplify the message that we've identified here.